Hey guys, RC here, back with uh, Football Manager 20, episode 20 of our Journeyman Save. Uh, let's see, where where did we leave off? Hammerby and Brahma Pajama, right? So, uh, a 1-1, one, one, no, Brahma Pajama and Gotoberg? I don't know, anyway. Uh, Gotoberg, a 1-1 one, one draw, Matthias Dietert with the goal for us there a one to two to one loss silvano thony with the goal in the defeat we beat Halmi a three to two magnus erickson on the wing jason tarpe and gel solinius our uh, striker up top with goals a three two loss to nor coping second in the table our former aren't they our former affiliate club senior affiliate i think so um i mean in fairness they beat us four to two in the group stage. So they only beat us three to two. <laughs> We're getting better. Uh, Selenius and Anders Dolk with the goals. And then Engelholms. This was a little disappointing. A three nil clean sheet. So here in the early going, we are in 12th position. 10 points, three points above relegation. Uh, four points on goal differ or four goals on the goal differential right there with Brahma pajama We're pretty even with them, which is to be expected So we've got our work cut out for us uh, We've got to find a way to just win a couple of games <sighs> And the bad thing is nor coping's mid table so uh, It's probably not going to happen against any of those angle homes in fairness. They are they are 20 points So they are up there near the top. So we're back today for your gardens and AIK uh, Your gardens is in seventh AIK is in fourth so uh, Let's see top goal scores for us are uh, Lindbaum and Solinius uh, Lindbaum with seven goals in 13, Selenius six in 12. Outside of that, not a whole lot of goal scoring going on. Thony with a with a pair, uh, Alonzo, Dieter, Tarpe, our uh, center back. Uh, let's see, Erickson and Dolk, our reserve striker, all with one goal apiece. So yeah, we've got our work cut out for us. I don't know, did we make any transfers recently? I don't remember. Hadn't recorded in a couple of days. Ah, uh, yeah, we did. Uh, we brought in uh, Kevin Ramage on a free transfer just about a week ago, uh, exactly a week ago. He's a 24-year-old uh, Kosovan, uh, international Kosovan with one cap, 18 under 21 cap, still looking for his first goal. Uh, he can play right wing naturally. He can play on the left side, uh, probably as an inside forward since he is right-footed. Solid physicals. Uh, good leadership, good first touch, crossing, dribbling. Uh, why did you bring in another right winger, RC? That's crazy. Yes, it is, unless you are aware of our medical situation. Uh, so Gustafson is out with a broken lower leg. He's going to be out for two more months, basically. And Michael brought Bruins, uh, who we brought in. Uh, he is going to be out with a torn hamstring for another two months as well. Uh, could could start training sooner than that, but uh, basically both of our <laughs> both of our right wingers that we brought in uh, have suffered uh, catastrophic breakdowns and has left a major hole uh, that we had to go out and fill. So let's get to the match. We are uh, playing at home today. We are the underdogs. Uh, David Scogland, he has not refereed a match this season. We're, we're 10 matches in. Let me, uh, bear with me here a second. All right. Wanted to bring that a little bit closer because I was checking out the last episode and seems to me the sound was a little off and I think I pushed the microphone a little too far away. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the game. Uh, and Gustav Gustafsson is doubtful, uh, our goalkeeper, with a hernia. So we are a little little weak at keeper as well. Uh, Likey's the only guy in there. Gustafsson's actually back on the bench. He has not even been able to be on the bench until 
this game. So the last few matches, he has not even been on the bench. We've been going with one keeper. Uh, Selenius, Lindbaum, Bethke, Ramaj is going to get, uh, I believe this is his, no, it'll be his second match. He did not play well last time, a 6.4. Not good. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Erickson. Do I play Erickson instead? Let's do a quick comparison. Ramage. I don't, yeah, I think we might. I think we might go with, uh, oh, no, that is Ramage. Never mind. So, Ramage is the guy that has the advantage. Ariel, at least. Everything else is pretty close. I can live with all that. So, yeah, we, you know, and he's going to need a few games to, you know, just to get up to speed. So he'll probably be first man off. You know, we don't want to play him a full 90 minutes till he's fit. And if we were, I was actually making a concerted effort this year to use the Marcelo Bielsa uh, philosophy and have those guys play with the reserves up until the point that they were actually match fit, you know, give them 45 minutes or whatever. All right. That's headed over. But, um, being two players down at that position, I really can't afford to do that. Oh, what a flick away by Amudson. I thought we were looking at a one nil advantage there. Not to be though. Jacobson will set up for the corner. And a good save by Amundsen. One on target out of our only one shot. Baj takes a touch. Loses it. Anderson, they're on a counter. They've got people pushing forward. Through ball, the left, wing, the left back. Oh my God, it just died in the net. The left back kept him on sides. Westberg with his fourth of the season. And look, he was so far out there, but look how far he drifted back. Ugh. All right, we need to get creative here, boys. We are inspired. Both my strikers are booked in the early going. Demand more. Oh, now they're pressured. But at least they're not frustrated. All right, Minari into the box. Oh, what a dive by the keeper. Amundsen, what a great save. Certainly do not have that type of talent on our half of the field. Come on, boys. Only three shots, 100% on target. So eh, it could be worse, I suppose. Definitely disappointing. Got two strikers. Avoid another booking. And Ramage is 82%. So he is, and you can see, he's fading out a little faster than the rest of the side. So we will be subbing him off relatively early. Okay, like he says, hey, I could do that too. I can't fly like that guy, and I can't lay out and dive and catch it, but I can jump and catch it. I'm not a complete buffoon. Oh, look at the control there on the trap. Is it just me, or I get very nervous, especially after yesterday? Uh, Leeds played yesterday, and uh, they, had a, they had a pass back from uh, their center back to the keeper, and the keeper missed the ball. <laughs> it's over. Selenius offsides. Oh, oh. Don't celebrate. Thank you. Know your role. I'm pretty sure he was offsides. All right. Let's make that sub. Ramage, we're going to bring on uh, Erickson on the side over there. Um, Lindbaum is struggling today. Let's bring on Cavilli. Cavilli is definitely our first option off the bench. I had signed Dolk to be in that role, but since I was unable to sell Calavilli. Uh, and we've got a 5-9 there. Demand more. Okay, good, good. 5-9 all the way up to a 6-5. That's good. 
Minari, Osterberg, show some passion. All right, 10 minutes of passion down the stretch. Doesn't look like it's going to garner us anything at all. Eight to seven, seven to two, two to one on chances. We dominate, just like Leeds, we dominate possession but can't get the win. Still, Jure Gardens is in promotion stage, right? Well, there is no promotion. They're in a European stage. That's not the worst thing that could happen to us. Didn't I just have 10 points? Didn't we just say we just had 10 points? How did I not get a point for that? All right. We are disappointing. Why didn't we move up to 11? Hello? Hello? Five losses, four, eight. Because they had seven, and we were one match above them. Did I, am I misremembering that? Maybe. Oh, well, we'll be right back uh, for our next eight matches. And he just finished a 10-match run, so yeah, he's, he's struggling. All right, we'll be back for the next match here in just a second. Well, things are just falling apart. Uh, Jonas Osterberg, our reserve fullback, broke his arm in training here in the off week. Uh, and he is out for two months. So that is certainly nice. Wow. We are serious underdogs again. Uh, Alonzo's been called up for international duty to face Greece. Ramage. It's our new player, giving us some training issues. Well, the good news is Fulham drew with Milham today, or Millwall today, Milham. Who am I thinking about? Uh, Fulham drew. Millwall missed a penalty that would have won the game. So uh, Fulham still get a point. So they're still even, but Leeds holds on to second position and automatic promotion right now with uh, three goals extra in the goal differential. So that's nice. That was probably the best case scenario after uh, everybody caught up today. I don't know how we're going to stay up this year, man. I, I just, I was hoping we would be able to pull enough points from some of the mid and low level teams all right, well, with all that, we've made some contract offers for people with expiring contacts. Looks like all of our young players we're going to let go. None of them have the talent. We're on the road here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with this for the time being. All right, Gustafson's back to full health. We're going to put him on. Uh, badge for Alonzo. I'm just really conflicted I'm going to go back up to positive here we are underdogs but still we've got to got to put some pressure on them no real pressure this is one of those stretches I think we need to give a little bit of greenage if we can I meant to look I didn't notice uh, first game but yeah it looks like all the jerseys are back all the kits so that's good uh, cleared out, not good. Beats the center back. Hagstrom blows past. Good save by the keeper. Cleared out, good job. Hagstrom. Oh, laid off. He's pretty much unmarked. Oh, what a blast. Holy Christian Zachariasen. Fourth goal of the season, and boy, that's a mouthful. Just does not roll off the tongue very well. Ole Christian is pretty cool, but Zachariasen is about 12 syllables too long. <laughs> All right, he plays it over the side. Hagstrom beats the back line again. Plays it in. The keeper sits on his line. That's good. All right, a good header out. Push out. Let's encourage him. Uh, D 
deep ball into Hagstrom, and that's going to be a corner. Let's just take a quick look. Um, I'm going to drop tempo. We are regrouping. Let's switch that to counter, but we want to regroup. Yeah, I think that is good. Just looking to, you know, some small tweaks if we can, you know, get anything going in the right direction. Biggest problem is we're just not generating shots here. All right, badge. Ah, cleared out. That was horrible. I thought that was fixed in the in the in the. Oh. Mario Hillen, fifth of the season. That was set up by. Okay, that's weird. The arrow turning into a soccer ball. Dietert here just gets. No, it wasn't Dieter. It was Tarpe. Oh, man. That was a... That was just a poor, poor attempt. God, they're right back on us again. Shit. Gustafson with the save. 16 minutes in, we are down two goals. Oh, don't play around here. Get rid of the freaking ball. Another save. I thought he was off sides. Come on, boys. All right, Lindbaum. He takes a shot. Oh, there's a way to end your goalless streak. What a placement right into the corner of the net. Eighth goal of the season. The keeper, Gustav Gustafsson, with the assist. Oh, that was much needed. Let's tell him to get creative. Hemingway, throw in. Bethka, down to Baj. Oh, he brings it in. Oh, and he just can't get anything on that shot. Oh, look at the one touch past the defender. Tarpe gets called out again. What is his deal? He's got pace. I don't know what his deal is. Um, which one of these guys is fastest? 12 and 7. Certainly not him. 12 and 8. You know what it is? I think it might be his acceleration. Minari, see, he's only got eight. He doesn't have any pace at all. He can't guard anybody. No no defensive skills whatsoever. All right, so there's, there's nothing to do there. Nothing to do whatsoever. The only, the only thing I could think about Okay, there's a ball out to nobody. All right, let's make one change. All right, so Tarpe. Tarpe's got pace, and he's the quickest acceleration. So let's make him a central defender stopper. No, cover. Yes, cover. And then you, we're going to make you a no-nonsense center back. Let's try that. Just see if that... The only other thing I could do is maybe drop that back line a little bit. That'll be the next. Oh, Hillen. That's his brace, isn't it? Is that his set? Yep, second of the game. Damn it. problem with dropping the line even farther back i think it just sets them up for more shots on goal look at that my god oh he just puts it up into the stands somebody threw it back on the field 
Nice stadium there for AIK. I'm not expecting a whole lot this year. Remember, we're only supposed to avoid a relegation battle, right? I'm hopeful. Oof. I'm just hopeful we can pull enough points to stay up. That's all I want is to stay up this year. Because if we can stay up, we get that financial boost again, then... You know, that gives us another year, another transfer window to bring in some more players. Oh, my God. Advantage. Now, do they call that back? I mean, he brings it all the way down. And, no, it doesn't look like it. All right. Um, show some passion. Minari. Deep throw to Minaj. Loses the ball. Hillen, all right, tight defense, tight defense. Boy, they've had a lot of highlights this half. My God. Oh, a little flick on header. There it is, Ramage. <sighs> this is brutal. It's games like this that are the reason I cannot be a football coach because I would lose my ever-loving shit <laughs> and I would be screaming at players. Be better, damn it. <laughs> be better. All right, Baj, Jacobson, Selenius into the box. Ah. Uh. Five out of seven shots on target. They've got 10 out of 19, so we won't even talk about that. Show me something else in the second half. How about that? Um, do I want to... I mean, look at that. Lindbaum's playing at 8-2. Nobody's playing shit. Even my keeper's playing a 7. Keepers never play a 7, right? Demand more. All right, they're pressured. Oh, boy. Gustafson's not in match condition, but he's a keeper. I don't think he has to be. What's Jacobson? Jacobson has 11 passing. There's no defense there. He is pacey. Let's do that. Put Jacobson in the playmaker position. You know what? Let's switch these two guys around in the second half. See if see if Selenius plays better. I mean, they're both poacher advanced forwards in that order, so it shouldn't shouldn't be horrible, right? Oh. Unlike my goalkeeper, Sigidor Por Uban Ubancic. And I'm sure that's not poor. I'm sure it's Dior or, Dior or something like that. Pear, pear maybe? I don't know. But anyway, he scored another goal. 10. That's 10 on the season. Lindbaum. There's a through ball. Selenius can't find the finish. All right. They just kind of kick it out to the side. Bethke loses it. That's kind of shit. Oh, you know what? Let's try one more thing. Let's go with much shorter passing. I'm going to turn that off. I'm not exactly sure what run at defense does. If you know exactly what that does, put it in the comments. I'm going to turn that off. Let's do that. All right, corner from Alonzo. God, another spectacular grab by a goalkeeper. Trying to see where he was kicking that ball and why that had to go all the way back to the other end of the pitch. Only to give it to them right where we got the ball anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble understanding this, guys. 
Oh my God. Lubanchich, almost another goal. Tarpe, that was a poor clear. Oh, he had to have been offsides. Thank you. It's still four to one. Pull that off the board. Gee whiz. Yes, it was. All right. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Um, push forward, maybe. Try that. Fuck me. What the hell is that? Is the shorter passing, that just means pass it all the way back to the keeper? And I don't know how that was a shorter pass to retain possession. No clue. All right. Our defender missed the header. And that's a beautiful goal by Per Urbancic. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. Again, just a guess. And I'm about to just tell these guys to, you know, kiss my ass. Um, yeah, demand more. And you're on your own for the rest of the game, boys. I'm, I'm not going to do anything here. We're just getting our ass handed to us. Not happy about it. I'm still kind of on the buzz about last season. Dietert, right into the defender. He's outrun to the ball by Hagstrom. Oh, he fights for the ball. Hagstrom does the little heel kick. Again, I thought that was fixed. Guess not. Oh, my God. What a save. That was a worldie. Well, he laid out, spun around in a 360. Can't fault him for effort there. Um, no clue what happened. Offsides, maybe. All right, Erickson brings it up. They leave him alone. Oh, he kills the keeper with a shot to the face. Scott Sterling. I love Scott Sterling. He's my favorite player of all time. Alonzo to the edge of the box, into the defender's legs. Bethke gets cut off by the defender. Can't get to the ball. Oh, there's a nice move. That was a horrible play. Oh, Hillen or Tarpe. I'm guessing that's a red card. No, just a yellow. All right. Boy, this has been a game to forget. Oh, nice little one touch. Oh, he's got to go off. Too little, too late, though. Leif Larson, I think we tried to sign him. He he was having none of it. All right, Dieter. Squared into Jacobson. Back out to Dieter. Back to Tarpe. Over the top. Selenius. It goes in. Seventh goal of the season. Tarpe with the assist. Larson missed the header, took a defensive screw up for us to get one back. Let's encourage him, I suppose. I know I said I wasn't going to do anything else, but they scored a goal. So we kind of got to give them a little something, right? Oh, man. That skates over the top of the netting. Two minutes left. Let's just get to the whistle. Thank you. Five to two. 34 shots. 19 on target. We did not have a bad game. 17 shots. 13 on target. Probably eight clear cut chances. Ow. Ow. 
They played an eight. An eight. Yeah, we're not going to win games if they're playing eights, right? So, ugh. Um, all right. I mean, they played well. We're not supposed to be very good at this level, guys. I, I'm guessing that's the only solace I can take. Gothenburg won, which puts them on 10, even with us, the goal differential. I tell you what, getting that second goal, that could end up playing a big role for us here. What do you want me to do? We suck. All right, well, I guess they want a new tactic. We're going to park the bus. We're going to play a 9-1-1 a, a, a because we need help. <laughs> we're going to play nine on the back line, one in the mid just to clear the ball up over the top and one up top as a poacher. Uh, he'll just stay up there, and if, if we ever get him the ball, if not, he won't run a lot. We'll see We'll see our, our, our striker with like 0.2 miles run for the match. Uh, honestly, as, as good as, as, as happy as I was with April, I'm equally as unhappy with May. And we've only got one game in June. I don't know what the hell they do. Do we have something else going on? Doesn't appear. Maybe we can play some friendlies and make some money. Maybe. I don't know. What did we do last year? Oh, I was in a different league last year. So that doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. We'll see you guys. I don't know when I'm going to come back now because I don't know what's going to be happening. What the hell is a Team TG? Is that a real team? Maybe. Uh, I'm thinking Elfsberg and Hasselholms. Elfsberg is kind of mid tabley and Hasselholms is kind of bottom of the tabley. Those are games that we've, and they're both at home. We kind of got to win both of those games. Plan for that unless something else happens in here that I am not aware of or am not ready for. Uh, so we'll see you guys. Uh, well, you'll see me tomorrow. I'll see you guys in a couple of months. It looks like hit that like button. Give me a pity like today. Subscribe. Do you think we're going to stay up this year? It's going to be tough. Do you think we're going to stay up? Ugh. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.